Okay then, in this video we will talk about custom icons for markers. So previously we used markers, but we didn't set a custom icon for markers. So for instance, in this example, we used a marker, but, but this is a default marker. We didn't specify a custom icon for these markers. So in this video, I will show you how to implement a custom icon for markers. So let's do that. So um, before we do that, I just want to show you the end result so that our end result will look like something like this. So when we click on the point, so it will, instead of this kind of uh, default icon, it's going to put uh, a custom icon on top of the map. So let's implement that. So for that, first of all, what we need to do is we need to download a custom icon for our marker. And I have downloaded a marker from this website called it icon8.com. So basically what I did is in Google search engine, I wrote icon8 and then maps icon. And that's, uh, that's what I ended up having. So I have several options to choose from. So I have already downloaded one of these icons and then put that icon into the project folder and I will supply this one to you. Um, you can use that supplied one or you can just download any of these uh, markers or sorry, icons and then you can use that one. So now let's get started. So we have icon. So how shall we use it? So to do that, so uh, we need to go to the official documentation of the leaflet. So in here and the basic types and the basic types we have icon. So we click on that and then it shows us how to initialize custom icon and use it with a marker. So for to initialize a custom icon all we need is we need to call this class call it l.icon and then we can pass several options to this class, such as icon URL. So I think that's required because if you don't specify this, there is no need to set this one because we want a specific or we want a custom icon. That's why we need to provide a URL to the uh, icon. And then we can specify, for instance, icon size, icon anchor, pop-up anchor, shadow, etc. So we'll discuss about these options later on. Once we initialize our icon, what we need to do is in the l.marker class as an option, we need to pass our um, custom icon. So you see, it says icon and then my icon. And this my icon is this one. So let's implement this. So as I said before, in the data folder, I have already put um, the icon point so this is my custom icon so icon uh, point file so basically it's an image so let's implement our custom icon so so for that just right after this distance calculation demo um, we'll just specify our icon because we want to use our custom icon with this distance calculation demo so it's very easy so as, as we saw before, we just say, we just create a variable, it can be var or const. So my custom icon, and we say l.icon, and then we pass several options um, to this l.icon class. So the first one would be icon, icon URL, and sorry, it should be, capital U, but the next letters should be lowercase. Please pay attention to the options. So they should be exactly as this one. So you can get those options in here. So you see, you can even just copy it and then just paste it into the uh, into your code rather than typing it. So and then what we need is we need a relative pass to our file. That would be in my case dot dot be two dots and then forward slash data then icon point dot png 
it's this one so why we have two points because I am right now in the main.js actually I don't need two points so I thought I'm inside of the folder and then I need to go back to the previous folder so it seems that's not the case um, I just need just once uh, one dot and then forward slash data so because I'm going there and then I just want to grab this um, image so now we can specify icon size so icon size and the size can be like you know for now let's make it 30 pixel by 30 30 by 30 so and then we can specify later on some other options so we let's assume that we finalize it our not finalize it no okay that's a first draft of our custom icon so we just need to pass this uh, custom icon to our l dot marker class so right after this latitude and longitude we just open the curly brackets and then we'll say icon and then we just pass our custom icon variable and that's it so we just save this and then we have up and running application in here so if I click as you can see it's instead of this kind of default marker it's now putting uh, a custom icon on top of the map so you can now for instance change the size so for instance if you want to make it bigger you can say hey 40 by 40 it's going to be bigger if you want smaller you can change that one so let's discuss some of the other options we have so we have for instance icon anchor so you can read the description in here it says the coordinates of the tip of the icon so that means that's the bottom of the icon so currently if I click it's just more or less at the center right so because when I click as you can see my mouse um, is at the center of the icon so you can change that one for instance let's say you want that to be um, for instance at the bottom of the uh, icon so for that you can say hey I want my um, icon anchor to be at this position for instance so I'll show you icon anchor so then for instance I will say so this one is 40 by 40 so let's make it for instance uh, probably 20 by 40 and let's see what happens so now if I click as you can see, you see so you, do you see the difference? So if I click, my mouse is at the bottom of the icon. But my pop-up, pop-up window is covering the entire area of the icon. So I want this, for instance, pop-up icon to be at the center of the uh, icon. So for that, there is another option called pop-up anchor. And this one defines where your pop-up window will be so let's copy this and then let's say hey I want my pop-up anchor to be um, at the center of the icon so how shall we achieve that so the first one would be X coordinate and the second one would be Y coordinate in other words X is horizontal Y is vertical so I want to say 0 and then if I say 20 let's see what happens if I say 20 so that would be 0 for the X and 20 for the Y so it's at the bottom so it means if you specify positive number it's gonna go down and if it's negative number it goes up because I know this one because if I'm clicking right now so previously it was a little bit up now it's going down so that means if it's positive number it goes down and if it's negative it goes up so I'll show you so now it's in the middle you see so my mouse is at the bottom of the icon but my pop-up window is at the center of the icon so that's how you specify custom icon in leaflet and if you want you can for instance specify several icons so for instance for so for instance once let's say so you see we have one two three four five six for instance you can set for the first six ones one type of or one specific icon 
and for another range let's say from 6 to 12 you can have another icon so you can do these kind of things as well so if you want to do that it's very easy instead of so in here you just need if else statement right so we say if country equals from 0 to 5 so you want one type of icon and from 5 to for instance 10 you want another another icon so it's very easy so basically that's it regarding custom icon in leaflet and i will see you in that next video